the idol also shall be carried to Ashur. Remember I mentioned Ashur, whose king, Sennacherib, came to uh, Hizkiyahu and told him about everything that he destroyed as if that was something that he did wrong. So Sennacherib is a image of the beast, the first beast of Revelation 13, the little horn of Daniel. So the idol also shall be carried to Ashur, that calf who is the Lord, who is the false Messiah. And as I have explained many times in Christianity, they mix the Antichrist with the beast. But in reality, they are two different entities. And besides them two, there's another one who is the false prophet. The Christians also mention the false prophet, but either they say that the false prophet is the Antichrist or the beast is the Antichrist. Yet, I repeat, one is the beast, one is the false prophet, and then one is the Antichrist. So, the idol also shall be carried to Ashur as the false messiah will be planned to be brought to the world by the world leader represented by Ashur as a present for King Yareb. Sounds very similar to Yareb. <laughs> as a present for King Yareb. Let me see this name. Yareb means contender. Um, yeah, contender. He who fights. So, going back. The idol also shall be carried to Ashur as a present for King Yareb. For the king who is the contender. Ephraim shall receive shame. And Israel shall be ashamed of his own counsel. That's what I was just saying. The many, like Ephraim, fruitful, shall receive shame when they realize they were wrong. When they realize they killed, they killed the two leaders of the people. Eliyahu and the witness like Moshe. And Israel, which is another name from Ephraim, shall be ashamed of his own counsel. This could be seen as Ephraim, the many with, which are in Christianity, and Israel, those of the many uh, who would come out somehow eventually from Judaism. And Israel shall be ashamed of his own counsel, meaning their own doctrine. They will be ashamed of what they believed in, what they were teaching, advising people on how to get to heaven when they were actually leading them somewhere else.